It's our first day here in Kyoto and we are busy walking to a place called Gion. street and they have a lot of the the ladies wearing the traditional clothing so that's gonna be exciting to see oh yeah so we, we did arrive today in Kyoto where we came down from Tio from Tokyo in a bullet train so if you have never watched a bullet train video before definitely go check that out yeah that's our previous video yes. such a cool experience super fast so that train goes about what three 300 kilometers an hour. I think we were topping around 280. 280. I think the really average cool. speed is 300 kilometers an hour. Yeah? Beautiful, beautiful journey. A little pricey, but definitely worth it. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of people, so it's a very touristy spot, clearly. They also have um, kimono rentals, which I see a lot of people are wearing, actually, to take photos. But we plan to do that a different day in a different spot. So we won't be trying that today. But look how awesome the food is. Look at this, look at this. That looks awesome. That looks so delicious. I mean, I'm not a big fan of green tea or matcha. I am. Jade is. Yeah. <laughs> so. Coming back to the shop. <laughs> This is one of the shrines. I, I can't say the name, it's quite a difficult name to say. Yeah, so we'll put the name at the bottom of the screen, but these are very iconic here in Japan, in Japan these red shrines. actually a very unique shrine so it says here that this shrine supports human relationships it ends a bad relationship and leads to a good one it also has the effect of ending illness and other bad things wow. so you can see that many this is very famous in the whole of Japan and a lot of people come here they go through it so they first get a little paper that they write something on maybe it could be with wanting a new relationship or they're struggling with a bad relationship and then they um, pull through the hole and then they have to go back and then they stick the note on the shrine. It's very, very That's interesting. Very the interesting. line is long, so it's very popular. Really. Everyone wants to end in, in the bad wish, so I guess. Eh? Good luck. Oh, good luck. <laughs> very cool. So I also saw that they were doing that um, that lucky. Um, I, don't, I forgot the name of it, but we did it in Tokyo when we went to the first um, temple. We got to shake this box and then take out a stick. And if you draw a good luck um, paper, then luckily. But if you have a bad luck um, paper, then you got to tie it into a knot and tie it on the string. So I saw they also had a bunch of those um, tied up. next shrine that we're gonna go look at is called uh, Yasaka Jinja Shrine. Oh, you sh this is a shrine? I thought it was a temple. 
It's a shrine. <laughs> As soon as you walk into the area, you get there, you'll see a lot of food being sold and like different type of gifts you can buy. Very cute. This shrine actually leads out into a park. It's really big. I see there's some res restaurants as well, which I actually see I like a little cafe. Yeah, a little cafe um, yeah. with stuff with matcha. So probably going to go get that now because our feet are killing us. So we need to take a break. <laughs> like walking nonstop. Okay, so we've just ordered a crepe. So they have two options. They have the matcha crepe and then they have a black sugar crepe. But because Jason doesn't like matcha, we've compromised <laughs> to share a black sugar crepe. I'm very kind of It looks really good. I've seen other yeah. people ordering the matcha one. Here's the pictures. Yeah. There. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what we got now. And it costs about 800 yen. So it's pretty pricey, but... I think it's gonna be worth it because most of the food here is really good. Just got it. Look at that. Wow, that looks so good. What is on top there? I don't know, but it's jiggly. <laughs> it looks awesome. I feel like it's gonna be hard to eat actually because it's. Oh. We'll make a plan. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> Can I sit here? Yeah, sit here. I did that. That's mm. amazing. Yeah. Mm. Very why? compacted. Why? We've had so many desserts here, and they are so good. Mmm. <laughs> Well, I think Japan's won the best desserts. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's so good on flavors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. So good. Sad. Mm. Mm. They're all falling inside there or something. Mm. So cold. You want some? Yeah. Okay, so this is where we were earlier and then we walked past these shrines and we came past this park and we're over here now. This is the lake over here. So as you can see, it's way bigger and we're not going to be doing that because our feet are killing us today. But there's that option. Oh, top of the waterfall. So it's a little waterfall here. It's also nice. Okay, but Jason and I are hungry. Even though we had the pancake now, which was great, but we want to find a noodle shop. Well, what is it called again, Jace? Ramen. Ramen. Okay, we want to find ramen because we are obsessed with the ramen here so far. <laughs> okay, so we have found a noodle shop now, so we're going to go eat some noodles. Ramen. So it's called for Wishy Ramen they're going to eat. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We're going to be prepared. For Wishy in Japanese means delicious. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> the delicious that's fine. ramen. Okay, so in order you have to, you have to fiddle around with the screen. <laughs> fiddle around with the screen. You've got to find what you want on the screen. Yeah, so two people. You want... Uh, change pages. Change pages. No, no one. No one. Seven pages. Oh, we see you wrong. Okay. okay, now we have an order and we're going to click order. And so we'll send it to the people to cook it. And now we wait. <laughs> wow. This is massive. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is 
is so big. about to walk off with this and this is fake. This is plastic. <laughs> so there's the real one. Thank you. Okay. Now we got the real one. Such a banana. Goodness, that was embarrassing. Are real. She was tapping and she's like, that's plastic. And Jason's like, I must take the plastic off. Yeah, there's plastic wrapped around. And then she's like, no, it's, it's plastic. plastic. <laughs> Listen, Jason. Yeah. So that was a bit of an embarrassing moment. But yeah, let's try one of these things. Come. Yeah. All right, let's, let's do it. Look at all that soy sauce, that sweet soy sauce. Ooh, it looks sticky. Mmm. Mmm. That's very interesting. Nice. Do you like it? Mmm. Yeah? Mm hmm. You made it hard for me to get mine. <laughs> Put your mouth in it. That's mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. really nice. Right? Mm. How do you describe it? It's like um, sweet and salty. The soy sauce makes it salty. It's got that sweetness on is it. it. It's like a doughy, like an uncooked donut. Right, yeah. Mm. It's sweet. Mm, it's really good. Really, really, really good. Okay, so we just stumbled across this. So we left that other area, came out, and now there's another massive temple here, and it looks stunning. So we can't just walk past it. So now we're going to just, we're not going to do all of it because look how massive that is. It is absolutely huge. huge. So we're going to do a little bit of it. And so basically, this is, I don't know if I'm saying this right, and I'm so sorry for the pronunciation. Chion In is the headquarters of Judo Shu and spans the foot of the Mount Kacho. Here the founder, Hanon, preacher, reciting the Nembutsu <laughs> until his death. So this is basically the map of everything there. Massive. More we walking here, Jace. Yeah. He was getting excited. He thought we were going to go home. Well, not go home, go to the hotel. <laughs> nope. It's like you move from one place and then all of a sudden you walk a little bit more and then you find something else. Like we didn't even have this plan. We didn't even know this was here. But look how incredible this is. Wow. It's amazing. This is what you get to see after climbing all those stairs. Beautiful temple. Yeah, very nice. I noticed in Japan they like to put gravel everywhere. Like even when you go to the parks, there's a lot of gravel. They don't like to put grass. But then when they do have grass, you're not allowed to walk on it. Right. <laughs> but it's done so perfectly. But I think they have some sort of function happening inside. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I can hear people clapping hands and mm. talking. It must be something. I think it's the monks. Yeah, I think there's something happening. Inside. 
And yeah. I know we definitely can't film going up there, so uh, right. we would have to do that not on camera, sorry. Um, but we had our first interaction with the security guard coming to tell us we're not allowed to put this on the floor. Yeah, you so can't put like, your, group, oh, your sorry, selfie sorry, stick on sorry, the ground. <laughs> yeah, um, which is interesting because um, we're just using it to take a picture. But um, yeah, that's not allowed. <sighs> Okay, so we're gonna go back to our hotel now. We'll show you a bit of where we're staying. So if you ever come to Kyoto and you're looking for a place to stay, then yeah. I wouldn't say our hotel is exactly the, best the, the heart of Kyoto. But it's close to a train station, which it, is yeah. nice. Yeah. It's decent and I think it's more affordable than a lot of the other hotels. Right, yeah. And it, it's nice, it's not too bad. Well, we haven't seen our room yet. We've just been to the reception. That's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty much. But we'll just show you guys, just in case you are trying to look for a place. Um, we'll let you know if we think it's good or not. Um, yeah. <laughs> Got our keys and we're going up. <laughs> so we're on the fifth floor. And I think our room has two uh, separate beds. From you <laughs> in Tokyo, our bed was super small, so having two beds is actually quite nice. Okay, so we are at number 514. Cheers. That way. <laughs> okay, that's 20. No, we're down here. Okay, welcome to our room. A humble abode. Single beds, and now we've got a massive bed, which is nice. It's all put together, so we're still close. We've got a little sitting area over here, and our coffee stations over here with our mini bar. Is anything in the mini bar? No, nothing. I mean, as expected. But usually in Tokyo, the rooms are really small, so this is actually quite big for a Japan room actually like our last room in um, Tokyo was very very small still nice just everything's very compacted I would still say this is compact but it's not too bad then we got a massive TV over here which is nice air purifier I don't know well obviously maybe the spot gets bad here but it's not bad now and then the coolest thing about this room okay we'll show that to you just now I just want to also show I just boxed these they give you it's like Pajamas. Like so, this is the shirt. Well, they're not pajamas. Obviously, they probably have a better name. I'm just saying pajamas. And little buttons like that. This hotel had a spa bar, so it's like a big uh, heated pool, and then they got saunas and stuff like that. You can go to as well. It was really nice, which we're probably going to do later. Um, over here, we've got our sink area. So, um, yeah, hair dryer. Don't know what that is. Simple, very nice. And then here, look how cool the shower is. It has so many buttons. I don't even know what these all do. I no idea. I don't gonna, think those are buttons. Gonna have to, those are where the sprays come out of. <laughs> I have no idea what these are for, but it's a lot of instructions in Japanese. <laughs> Can't read any of it. But yeah, they give you all the shampoo, body wash, conditioner. Ooh, they, they, look, they look fancy as well. <laughs> and then, watch this, you need to get this. The toilet is going to open automatically. Are you ready? Oh! <laughs> How cool is that? You've got this over here, which is like the a little remote, basically. So you, it's like a bidet and stuff like that to clean yourself. When I first came, because we, um, we stay in Thailand, so they have um, like the spray gun. When I first heard of it, I was like, no, you know, we just go buy toilet paper. Now I can't live without it. So a bidet is like the best thing the way ever made. But there's the iconic hall. It's <laughs> low. Trying on the hand.
So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a like. It really helps our channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye.